Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I just noticed that the sun is shining on your cards. I just happened to get up, turn the camera on, decided I was going to do you and here we are. Look at it, it's so bright. So you guys are probably shining pretty bright. I think that, you know, you're probably, you're probably glowing. Hopefully that's the case, right? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically my readings are love readings. We will see what we can get. This is for the month of August 2018. If it doesn't resonate at the beginning of the month, keep in mind, watch it throughout the month and at the end of the month because this is for the entire month of August. It may not have happened yet. Maybe this sun isn't shining right now and it's going to shine in two weeks. Okay, so keep that in mind. Maybe you're feeling a little gloomy, but that sun, the sun will come out tomorrow. That's what just came out in my head. The sun will come out tomorrow. So keep that in mind. If this reading, you know, you're watching it today, and right now things are a little gloomy, keep in mind that the sun is going to come back out. There's obstacles in the way. There is. There's some obstacles and you're being called to step outside of your comfort zone and release some mental turmoil. Remove it. Just cut it right out of your life. We have the Ten of Pentacles, which is abundance, stability. Oh, but there's an injustice here. You're moving on. You're, you're mastering your emotions. You could be scheduling some travel. You could be moving. You could be getting a divorce. There's a decision here that needs to be made. I don't think the decision has been made yet. You're probably indecisive about this decision about maybe it's moving home or changes in your home. You're dealing with some, some sort of lies too. The Eight of Swords and the Justice Reversed are both lies. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, you guys may be giving up on a on a relationship situation or a making a change in your home life or, or something like that. There's definitely a new chapter that is waiting to be started. It's like there's a completion that needs to end, but you're not allowing it to end. When you when something ends, something needs to end. There's a big change on the horizon for you. But it's like the change can't happen yet because you're stuck in a situation. I'm not sure what it is. But I feel like you guys are mastering your emotions and you're thinking about heading out of whatever the situation this is that is causing you a lot of mental turmoil. But you're still in it. You're still in it for some reason. Bad luck. Bad karma with the real reverse. And this is bad karma as well. So I'm not sure. Let's get some more cards. Oh my gosh. The tens are unbelievable. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups, and the Wheel, all Tens. Tens are completions. Completion, 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 completion. Ending, 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 ending. Something is ending in your life. And, and two of them are upright and two of them are reversed. It's like you're fighting it. You're, you're like on a roller coaster. You want it to end, you don't want it to end. You want it to end, you don't want it to end. And that's the duality of it, right? <laughs> makes a lot of sense. You got two upright tens and two reverse tens back and forth, back and forth. That's an injustice to yourself. <laughs> Truly it is. You guys are still focusing on some sort of loss, the five of cups, emotional disappointment. There's been a lack of, of receiving some love from somebody and you're still focused on that when there's another opportunity that is much better right behind you or right in front of you or waiting for you to take it, or see it, open your eyes. Stop focusing on this emotional loss that you've been through, whatever it is. You've been involved in a disappointing situation where love probably wasn't reciprocated by another person. And now I feel as though it's keeping you stuck from actually moving on when you really do want to move on. That's the duality. You want to move on. You're trying to bring success to your life. You're working on mastering your emotions so that you can accept love and offer love elsewhere. But then again, that damn wheel keeps teetering. It's like it is, instead of being on the wheelbase, it's on teeter-totter. 
That's what it's like. It's like, he, oh my goodness. There's been some sort of betrayal. You have been betrayed. And for all you cross watchers, I'm going to let you know. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're not going to flip this. There's an opportunity for a fresh new start here, but you're going to have to take a risk, and you're going to have to have faith, Gemini. Faith in this ending. Faith in stepping outside of your comfort zone. Faith in removing these obstacles so that you can have something more abundant, more stability, more stable, more secure, more solid, more long-term. But if you continue to try to control destiny or trying to control the outcome because of you've been hurt in a situation, it's only going to bring you bad luck. Now, I do see that there, there could be some travel or moving or big, big changes on the horizon. There's a new beginning here. There's like a transformation where you are being called to go down a new path to fly, you know, to fly away from whatever this is that you're holding on to. But you have to let it go. And a lot of this is mental. Okay, it is. You have to let it go mentally, internally. Even if you've let it go physically, intern and physically it looks like you have let it go. Physically, something has been let go physically in the, phys the tangible touch arena. It's been let go. But now you need to let it go mentally. So that you can have this fresh new beginning and not take that baggage with you. Look at that sun. I guess I'll shut the shade. That was a good call, wasn't it? Um... So yeah, other people see that you're not happy. How other people see you. They see that you're not happy on this teeter-totter. Okay? They see that there's still an obstacle in the way. They see it. Perhaps you're lying to yourself. The Eight of Swords in reverse can be lies. And, and you know, maybe you're lying to yourself by not allowing this new chapter because a new chapter wants to start that's for damn sure that is more abundant more stable and secure maybe you're lying to yourself trying to protect yourself from getting hurt again or being taken advantage of it's like i need to protect myself from getting taken advantage of so i'll just keep my guard up and and not really you know focus on this new even though this new is right here looking you in the face whatever it is um Let's get some clarifies. Your challenge is accepting this fully. Accepting this love fully. Whatever love this is. You're being offered love, Gemini. Your challenge is accepting it. Without prejudice. Moving on. Finding the mental strength to replace fear with faith in a new beginning. This is a card of faith and this is a card of faith. They're mirroring each other. You have to have faith in new beginnings. There's a new offer of love. Or there's a genuine offer of love that's been sent to you from above. Maybe you need to be more playful. Maybe you need to let your guard down. Let somebody love you. You know, I feel like you guys have been involved in a toxic situation and you're afraid to let yourself bond with anybody else. It's time to release the thoughts of betrayal. The thought release the thoughts of getting hurt. Don't let that hold you back from happily ever after. Whatever is meant to be is meant to be. Do you understand? The wheel is reversed. Whatever is meant to be is meant to be. Stop trying to control it. Let somebody in. Let somebody love you. Put your guard down. Be more playful. Get out there. Have some fun. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my goodness. You think that everybody is going to hurt you? You got to you got to you got to be so defensive that you push people away? Not everybody is going to hurt you. Just because somebody betrayed you and somebody didn't follow through doesn't mean that everybody's going to do that. I feel like right now, you know, you guys are enjoying life. You're doing very well, especially if you're single on your own. You're you're taking care of business with the best of them. There's a lot of self-love. There's a lot of self-confidence. There's a lot of inner abundance. There's a lot of strength and stamina and wisdom that you have gained. It's like you can take care of yourself just fine. And you know it. But don't. Just because you're, well, you know, I can't tell you what to do. But it feels as though, you know, there's an opportunity for love, but you're, you're, you've grown so independent and almost, like, comfortable where you're at that letting somebody in to change your schedule, change your life, change everything, and, and deepen a bond is kind of like... undesirable to you. I mean, you want it, but you don't. It's like that teeter-totter. Teeter-totter. Do you want to be independent? Do you want to be single? Do you want to do you want to be on your own or do you want love? I mean, that what what is it? I feel like right now there's a, there's like a there's a, no fertility. There's no growth. There's no passion for for allowing love to blossom. You're comfortable with where you're at. You're comfortable with who you are, even though you want it. You want it, but you don't want somebody coming in here and changing everything. I feel as though at this point, you know, you, you may not want this opportunity. I feel like you have an opportunity for love, a relationship with somebody. But you're like, you know, I, I don't think I want to join. <laughs> I don't think I want to join. I don't think that this is going to lead to anything solid. I don't think this is going to lead to anything um, exciting. I feel like you lack excitement. You lack passion. You lack um, desire to give up what you already have. And I think whatever what you already have is a lot of inner abundance, a lot of a lot of independence, a lot of, um, you're very comfortable right where you're at. I think you're secure, you're stable, everything is good. And to let somebody in, it would be too, they'd, they'd bring obstacles with them. It would cause too many obstacles in your life. It would mess up your schedule, mess up your freedom. You know, because I see freedom here with the devil reverse, you're free. Many of you, not all of you, for the single ones, you're free. And there's an opportunity. There's a new opportunity. But it's like, oh, I'm not sure I can even let this happen. You may reject any new opportunities, you know, because you're so comfortable with who you are. I feel like somebody may want a chance with you. They want may want a chance at love or a relationship, and you may you may reject it. You may not want it. You may be like, no, I'm I'm good right where I'm at. Thank you very much. I'm good. You know, it feels like you lack faith. You lack you lack trust. It's like yeah, I don't I don't. It's not so much trust. It's faith th that things can work out because you're so independent. You're so strong. You're so stable with who you are. I feel like. There's a lot of self-doubt that somebody, that the, you want to give up your independence for, that you want to settle, for lack of a better word. I don't want to settle. If you aren't perfect, then get out of here. That kind of thing, you know what I mean? You're, you're not going to settle. That's what I see. I think at this time, you know, you're, you're pretty comfortable with where you're at. I think that, you know, 
there's a lot of inner conflict. There is with the Ten of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Eight of Swords. There's a lot of inner conflict about who to let into your life. I think your guard is up. I think that, you know, somebody has walked away from you in the past or not given you the, the um, chance that you deserve. And now you're, you've grown independent, you've grown stable, you've um, found a lot of self-respect, a lot of self-confidence, a lot of self-love, a lot of inner strength to the point where, you know, if you... don't have an equal amount to bring to the table, then don't bother coming, wherever that came from. I feel like, yeah, you've gained a lot of strength, you've gained a lot of courage, you have a lot of restraint within you. Restraint from allowing people that are not stable, not secure, not passionate, not all that you're looking for into your life. I think you're strong. You're very strong. Very, very, very. I feel like right at this time you're you're working on keeping things back, keeping things balanced in your life, and you're patiently waiting for divine timing to play out. It's like I don't want to be with just anyone. That's what I see. I feel like you're at peace with who you're at. You are. You're very. There's a lot of grace. There's a lot of peace. There's a lot of healing here. You guys have been through uh, something that has caused you to heal an enormous amount and now you know what you want and I think there's an opportunity here for love there's probably a message you could be receiving a message or you're involved with somebody but you're, you're like I don't know if I want to give up what I already have I'm good You have Leo, Sagittarius, you have Cancer, you have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you have uh, Scorpio again, you have Aries, um, you have Capricorn, Libra, I feel as though you guys are working on keeping your life peaceful and harmonious. <laughs> That's where it's at. It's like, you know, I think I'll restrain myself from this because I don't need any drama, you know. And I think that you have your guard up against drama. I do. Um, there's a lot of mental strength. Mental strength, mental strength. You guys have a lot of mental strength. It's like anybody that comes in to throw you under the bus or pull the wool over your eyes they're actually an idiot because it ain't gonna happen you know I think that you know you could see right through them if they tried I do I feel as though there's some something going on behind the scenes there's some sort of mystery there's something some kind of um, definitely some sort of lies deception and you're being called to be really careful to be cautious and I think that you know this you know there's something going on behind the scenes and in whatever situation this is whether it's at your job or in a relationship or in your family there's some hidden forces here there's some kind of secret you know there's a secret you may not know what the secret is but you know somebody is up to something there is a secret okay with the with the with the judgment card and the moon card there's a secret here that it's probably behind the scenes and you, you may or may not know about it, okay? Just keep in mind that this this is the truth will be revealed, whatever this secret is. So I think that there is something going, there is dishonesty and lies here too, like I told you earlier. So if you, and this is, there is lies, there is. Somebody is, there's, a, there's some sort of liar in your life, I don't know who this person is. And you may reject them because you know they're a liar, so I'm not sure who this person is, but... There is some sort of deceptive situation. Somebody's not telling you everything. They're keeping secrets. There is. Somebody is keeping secrets from you, and you know it. You do know it. And that's funny. I said, pull the wool over your eyes. I think somebody is trying to pull the wool over your eyes, and you know that they are. 
but you just can't pinpoint what it is. Hmm. Maybe it has to do with money. Maybe it has to do with finances. Maybe it has to do with overindulging in some way. There's a there's a lack of balance. Okay, these there's balance, lack of balance. I think you're dealing with another person who is pretending that you know this is like the fake it till you make it card they're pretending that they're all that but they're not really all that and you know it and so you may reject them and be like you know I'm better off by myself than dealing with this shady shit so I do feel like you know because these are totally somebody is pretend this is pretending somebody is pretending because this is this is a card of turning silver to gold it takes it in manifesting and evolving and it's magic it's like making things happen you know you know how manifestation works okay you you think about it you envision it and eventually it happens this is what like this is somebody is i think somebody is 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 sold you a line of bullshit and you know that they have and they're being very secretive about it what the hell is this? Is there a third party situation? I don't know. I was gonna say it with this card, but it wasn't a it was a two and not a three, and now we get this one. I'm not sure if there's another person involved here. There's a lack of togetherness. There's a definitely a, you know, and this is so contradictory. Okay, this is compromise, this is lack of compromise, this is compromise. So I feel like it's it's crazy. It, it's totally that teeter-totter thing. And this is the teeter-totter thing, too. Son of a bitch. Things are so chaotic. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's like, and that's the duality of it, right? Uh, look at it. It's trying to blend. It's like, maybe you're trying to blend, but you're dealing with somebody who's not telling you everything. They're not telling you the truth. They got secrets. They're not, they're not really putting in all the effort that they need to put in to make this harmonious, you know what I mean? Because they're keeping something from you. They're not communicating. And it's causing some imbalance because for this to work out, you've got to freaking communicate. I don't know what the hell this is. There's secrets and lies here. That's what I see. And you know it. And it's causing you some dis distress. So, Gemini, if you're dealing with a deceptive situation, you feel like it's deceptive, you feel like there's something going on, there probably absolutely is. You're dealing with something that really isn't solid and stable. It's not. I'm not sure what it is, but it's not solid and stable. You may be taking, being taken advantage of by another person. There's definitely an injustice here. There is some sort of lie, deception, and you have to make a decision, and I think it's a heavy decision, and I think that you're very indecisive about this decision because you probably want this love, but then again, you like your independence, and this person is probably a little wishy-washy back and forth, you know, they're telling you one thing, but deep down in your subconscious or in your conscious or in your intuition or somewhere within you, you know something is up, and something is up, and you know it. And I feel as though, you know, this person may be offering or sending you messages of love or offering you love and it's kind of immature, it's kind of childish, it's kind of fake. But I feel like you guys are strong enough. There's a lot of strength here with the strength card and the chariot card to make the right judgment call. Whatever this judgment call is, it could lead to some hurt. But true suffering brings true growth. So I feel like right now you may be deciding to, you know,
shave the wool <laughs> or something like that and you know it may cause a little bit of hurt for you or the other person or both of you but I think that you're strong enough to um, discern the situation in the right way and handle it with tact and grace I feel like you will be able to handle it just fine and I think that you there won't be any tears shed over this I really don't yeah there'll be some hurt but I don't think there'll be any real tear tears shed I don't I just don't I'm not sure what this is but I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is keeping secrets from you and you know they are and you're just waiting for some kind of clarification or to you know some kind of reveal and you're not going to get the reveal okay you're not well the truth will come out eventually but i think the truth is within you i think you know that's called your inner guide okay your intuition telling you that something isn't right whatever that is um you need to listen to it you could be dealing with somebody who's in a third party situation or somebody that says they have money and they don't because there's, a, there's like a look at this I think, and that is definitely the case, I think that, you know, somebody may be saying that they're rich and that they have all kinds of money and they don't. They may be just after your money or your stability. I don't know. Be really, really careful. Whenever you get the moon card, be careful because somebody isn't telling you everything. They're not. And you know it. I know that you know it. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self-mask in this relationship, and that is the damn truth. Okay? I know it is. I know it is. I, I feel it. So you may be better off on your own. Just saying. We got two. Priorities and faith. Get your priorities straight. When you know what's important, saying no gets much easier. Perfect. Perfect. Get your priorities straight. And I think that you will have no problem with this. I really don't think you'll have a problem at all. Faith. Have faith. Faith grows when you act without knowing the end result. Remember I said it's within. The answer is within. When I started to say you won't know the reveal. You know it. The answer, you, the answer is going to come from within. Have faith in what you know. Have faith. Faith grows when you act without knowing the end result. So I feel like you're dealing with a deceptive situation. And, you know, it might hurt for a minute to let it go. But you're going to handle it just fine. Talk to you later.